this, this is a country that's sort of torn itself down and had to reinvent itself completely. And I don't think there's, there are too many cases of that. I mean, even the French Revolution, the revolutions, even the Russian Revolution in many ways, I think, was not as thorough and systematic. Uh, and it's, uh, it, 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 in a certain sense, I think you could say that in its iterations of reform, it's reinvented itself as well as in any other realm, economically speaking, sort of authoritarian capitalism. But there are other pieces of the whole proposition uh, which seemed firmly in place for eternity back during the Mao years, which have not really been uh, uh, fully, I think, found their angle, new angle of repose. So I think um, this sort of discontinuity between the economic uh, changes and whatever may happen politically, and also I should say culturally and valuatively, uh, there's huge big gaps in this whole proposition that haven't fully been uh, realized. Uh, and I think that makes China incredibly unstable and makes it very difficult uh, for anybody to quite predict the future because uh, at the same time there are all these equal and opposite things happening at the same time as it tries to find who it's going to be in its new guise. And um, uh, again, I think that, that, that economically speaking, they've come up with something that they're starting to actually believe in, as if it were an alternate model. Uh, we don't hear so much anymore that discussion of reform being a double barrel proposition, that there's a political element and an economic element. In fact, I was just there with Jimmy Carter, and just parenthetically, uh, they treated him, I thought, extremely poorly. It was a rather humiliation for him, uh, having gone to celebrate 35 years of diplomatic relations after his incredible moment with Deng Xiaoping, which I went on the whole trip in 1979. But I think, you know, the, 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 the message of, uh, when you look at things like that is that, uh, you know, here, here is a country still very much up for grabs in terms of its identity, trying to cling to the part that has changed in some significant ways, namely the economy, as the heart of the matter. And it seems to me the wager going forward is this. Can a country, a society, which once did have a profound, deep traditional culture, value system, social structure, all of these things, can it survive uh, only sort of reinventing one part of the overall proposition? And uh, I'm dubious about it, but I have to say I've been dubious for 20 years, 25 years, and yet it has cohered.